generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect where it is currently minus 7 degrees C which means our heating bill is going to be very very high. That is a question, do you pay for the water boiler and heating? I don't think you will because it just uses your own internal power station. But anyway, um, that toilet is currently not connected to the water, it is the one section that isn't so um, I guess I'll do that to fix it. And in this episode we need and I do stress need, to get some prisoners because, well, <clears throat> lack of money and uh, that's uh, we're losing money per day so we need to sort that out. And also, it's sort of what you normally have inside a prison so yeah, I should probably do that. I'm going to place a... Um, I'm going to place a radiator in here because I put the plumbing in last episode, but I didn't place in... Well, actually, where is the right place for it? It is from the shower, uh, one, two cells down on the edge. So two cells down on the edge, which is there. It also means that the radiator is in the... Oh, it is in the correct place, actually. That is fine. So let's go over to our intake and then to uh, medium sec and then go to fill capacity, which is a total of 20. And then that will give us 10 grand, which I will then promptly use to repair some of this bank loan. We can, if we want to, uh, sell some shares as soon as we get prisoners. And I may do that, but we'll have to see. When it comes to expansion, it's probably something we'll do sooner rather than later. Uh, we'll expand down to the south there. But... Probably what we'll do before that is get in things like a, um, a shop, a library, that sort of thing. And we'll probably place that up here. We need, at minimum, I believe, a shop, a... Hmm. A shop, a chapel, probably a classroom, and a mail room. And then we're missing out on the library. The library will be placed probably here. So, yeah, something like that. Anyway, there is our first intake. We have many prisoners arriving. 20, actually. So, we have a little ding -ling noise there, which means we can, if we want to, sell shares. And also, we've finished researching uh, the land expansion. In terms of our money, I'm going to decrease our bank loan to nothing. I know that's going to... Uh, that's going to take our bank balance to very low, but we are also now getting positive daily cash flow. Or we have positive daily cash flow. Over to our intelligence and then informants, we can see we've got some traits, tough, quick, tough, and some unknown ones. In terms of our policy, we can see we've got a lot of this to set to solitary, which we're going to change it to lockdown because we currently don't have any solitary, which we will build later on. Uh, regime, I haven't touched at all, so I should probably sort that. Let me go to free time here and we'll, we'll get this sorted. It won't take too long to do. It's going to be our standard regime, so shower time. Uh, we do put a yard time in now, and uh, I don't know why. It's just something we decided to do. Shower time, yard time. With the showers being right next to the cells, we don't have to account for any sort of travel time or anything like that. We will have a probably an eat time, two hours. Then we'll have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then an eat time. And then two as a free time. Do I want to split this up uh, from the shower yard and eat? I think I probably do, so I'm going to do that, that, um, that, and that, and then put in the lockup in the centre, like so, and then have a bit of free time there. And that is our rough standard regime, uh, medium quantity and medium variety in terms of the meals. Uh, staff pay is as default, parole cutoff is going to be reduced to 20%, max staff taking breaks, 10%, danger level flying up um prisoners in the unnecessarily search recently it's just because they're being brought in so yeah that's uh, just the nature of the beast there you can see they are being escorted to their cells i'm going to try and do just try and not put it on the stupidly max speed because quite frankly you miss out a lot of what's going on at least the uh office chairs there are now right in the center and actually when you look at them there's a lot more detail in them than uh, there is on here see like how it does look like it's uh yeah, there's just a little more shading in there. It's quite nice. Danger level is flying up where it says two prisoners are shackled in their cells or in solitary. That is simply because it's lockup. Um, and also, I'm going to guess that it's unnecessarily searched and uh, have some serious complaints which are now going down. It could be the heat. Uh, it's currently zero degrees, but if we go over to our uh, logistics and temperature, you can see it is quite toasty. 20 degrees there. 20 degrees. That's perfect. That's no problem whatsoever, that one. Um, and 
they are now going out. Now what I'm going to do is go around and lock open some of these. You can lock them open this way or you can lock them open with uh, with a deployment. You can just say unlocked, but I don't tend to use that for various reasons. You can see the compound here is now closed off, so in order to get into the centre we do have to have a guard. Looks like everybody's going to the laundry uh, because, to be fair, there are uh, 12 people working in there, so they are happily working there. Excellent. Okay, so they'll be earning money. Speaking of money, we have 917 generic units of currency. I have a nice cup of teal, grey, mmm, lukewarm. And danger level is flying up once again. So we've got one prisoner to suppress compliant. Deterrent have been handed out. Uh, 16 prisoners have serious complaints. Ah, oh, do you know what it'll be? It'll be, sorry, 16. Uh, 12 prisoners, serious complaints. Laundry. I haven't got any heating around here, so let me sort that out. And where is the nearest water boiler? It's there. Ooh, it's gonna be it's gonna be close whether or not it can reach actually. Let me go over to the uh, objects and radiator. We're gonna place a radiator in there and a radiator in probably roughly centralized uh, closer to the yeah that'll be okay there. In terms of the hot water pipe, it will have to run over. I'm just really I'm hoping that it will fit. Uh, sorry, I'm hoping that it goes in. Um, oh, and there's also no heating in here. Okay, maybe I've jumped the gun a little bit when it comes to getting prisoners, and it would then make total sense if I place the radiators on this side because it's closer to there and closer to there. So that's what I'm going to do. So in terms of radiators, I don't know how many I'll need in here, but I'm going to place them... One, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three, four, five there. That's probably about right hot water we'll have to run the pipe down and then across i'm just hoping that these fit in looks like it is going to the end there and like i say, i'm hoping that it'll be fine there's that in there and then it should go over to no to there that should be fine and that's connected up there as well danger level is now going down now they're asleep. Yeah. So it is the uh, the temperature. Currently minus 9. Remember, we have got a mutator on. Let me have a quick look. Um, mutators. We currently have on the endless winter brings back the dreaded exposure status effect and plunges the world into eternal freezing winter. Like Frostpunk, but without, you know, the like slavery and things like that. Uh, right, so that's for now fine. Let's max that out and let them crack on. So why is that person there? Solitary and punishment. Why have that got solitary? I'm pretty sure I changed it all to. I did change it all to lockdown. I'm going to say that that was probably that probably happened before I managed to change it. Yeah. Um. You can see that we don't have enough. Uh. As many. Oh, we only got one cook. So I'm going to hire uh, two more cooks. I was going to hire three, but well, we just can't afford it. Um. But they'll be able to go ahead and sort this out. These radiators now in. So if we double check our temperature, we can see that it is only 18 degrees C. So it's a little bit too chilly for this for the size of room. So what I'm going to do is put in some more radiators. And I'll probably put it in there in the center. So I'll dismantle that phone. And then put in this radiator like so. Obviously I'll place the, the phones back. Might as well. There we are. And obviously we are getting money per day. Looks like they are eating. And danger level is low. No real complaints or positive or negative notes for us. In terms of needs, staff needs, we have that food need now being fulfilled. Warmth, there will still always be a warmth need because some prisoners like that one there are patrolling on the outside. So that's just how it is. In terms of money, we will be getting some cash flow from... Uh, p finding stuff on prisoners. Speaking of finding stuff on prisoners, we now will have the option to do uh, all things like inmate nutritional research. So I'm tempted, even though it plunges into negative balance. Uh-oh. That is an overdose. And we don't have an infirmary. Right. If I sell shares, I get six, just under 7,000. Well, that doesn't seem to be worth it, does it? Okay. Some comfort needs, yes. Clothing needs, mm, shouldn't be a big problem. 
Right. I guess then, increasing bank loan. And one infirmary coming up. So, where's the infirmary going to go? Well, I'm thinking probably here. But I'm not going to do it now. Because by the time that would happen, it's too late. So, staff, doctor, infirmary, medical bed. Doesn't matter because we're not going to... Doesn't matter because we're not going to uh, keep this. There we go, that person's out brought... Well, we tried. Um, ah, that's not great. And oh, yes, we also need to put in the uh, the drains. Uh, the question is, do I wanna, do I want to just put the drains here? Yeah, if I just put the drains there, it means we save some money on drains. It fills this place up, but it's not a big problem. They just won't go past there. Right. So, um, what were they doing there? Were they just sitting in that office chair? Were they just chilling out in that office chair? I think they were. <laughs> cool. Anyway, um, radiator is now in there. Let me just double check. What are they doing? Oh, they're, they're going to eat. Uh, logistics temperature, 20 degrees C. So it's a bit warmer and 19 there. That's acceptable. Anything over 10, I find, is fine. Um, it just depends on whether we get really, really cold temperatures. So we have got a temporary infirmary in the centre. We need to probably get another staff member another doctor and I'm very tempted to ignore building the infirmary and instead expand right now expand right now means we can then plan off what we're going to have is that the way forward is that a sensible decision I don't know but I'm gonna do a shakedown we've got a total of 10 uh, guards anyway, so more than enough. We haven't got any any dogs or anything, but this is normal security in very low population, so something I'm not really concerned too much about. You can see we are finding some contraband, and we will get some money because of that. We've also got some consulting fee. Don't know what that is. Danger level going down, minus 9 degrees, and slowly heating up, and we will see one normal security prisoner Today. You can see they are, yep, they are using that shower and, yeah, there were, wasn't stuff uh, passing around the drain. They are, yeah, congregating around the bleachers and stuff, sitting on there. That's pretty good. Right, so, um, on break. At least they use the arcade machine. That's cool. Like I said, danger level will fluctuate quite heavily in this facility, um, simply because of the, uh, simply because of the the temperature when they go outside they go oh it's cold don't really like it so as you've seen i've just expanded this off because i think it is probably the way forward i'm going to go to dismantle object and dismantle all of these trees that will give us a nice amount of money <laughs> much needed uh, amount of money as well so I'll let them crack on with that one you can see food is over there i do want to get inmate nutritional research but that does mean getting rid of one of these i will get rid of that one and get inmate nutritional research and we're going to serve a low quantity and low variety meal per day so low quantity low variety meal once per day so it will be regime um eat time is then so that's fine so a bit of free time there and go and that should start to tick up Single low quantity low variety meal for two days, and yeah, we'll see how we get on with that one. Those are no longer getting water. Oh, it's that bug again, is it? Brilliant. Right, okay. Uh, the best way of doing it is I find dismantling them utilities there, and that should be fine now. That should be fine. I'm going to prioritise that. It's because the flow of water, it go it's going that way and that way, and it where it connects up, the game doesn't know like to have it go which way or the other it just yeah it just happens it's just something you, you you might notice you can see that the workers are going and uh, they're going to be sorting that log out getting rid of it moving into the export selling it etc i have prioritized the removal of that but they're not doing it not really too bothered though at least the staff room and the canteen is working 
yeah very happy about that very happy so we are receiving positive monies um we are on negative eight grand though and i believe that's a fairly state eight grand oh well minus minus anything for any long amount of time um could be wrong about that though it looks like the prisoners are working there we could get them to work in here i think that wouldn't be i think that might be a decent idea you know let's go for max jobs in there Deployment shared. We do have a metal detector there anyway, so I think it would be worth it. Programs, kitchen safety and hygiene, for interested. We'll start that up. Um, anything else we can go for? There's loads of things we've got in there, but we're not gonna do not gonna do any of the other programs just yet. And there's an overdose, but we have seen it, and they are bringing the patient to the infirmary to then apparently get kicked off the bed into a wall. <laughs> um yeah, that's a that's a very interesting uh, way of doing things. Um, it's to do with the speed. I, whoa, okay, yeah, uh, you might want to search that prisoner to be honest with you. I believe they, I believe they may have, may have something on them. Um, <laughs> just a a little, just, there's just something about it that makes me think that they've got something on them. Are you carrying anything sharp, Ellison? And they're also getting hit in the head by a door. Oh, look, and they had a needle on them. What a surprise. The fact that they've just overdosed, weren't searched, is just quite a damning thing, isn't it, really? Um, and I wonder why you're going over there. Just checking out the... No, oh, no, no, yeah, search prisoner. And doing this is not just micromanagement for micromanagement's sake. Uh, we do actually get money for doing this. So, there you go, found booze. We get that consulting fee, I think it is. Yeah, it's, it's uh, for our... Um, our warden gets a small cut of the resale value of each piece of contraband found. Prisoners found with contraband will be fined directly from their savings. <laughs> ah, so from their savings. So if they don't have any money, I'm guessing you can't find them then. So them having a job is actually uh, really, well, necessary for for this sort of build that we've gone for. Right, so let's go over to planning and walls. I'm going to put the wall all the way around the outside. This is where our new, um, our new sort of cell block will be this is this is primarily going to be cell block um this is slightly different from uh previous now this external wall here i'm probably going to get rid of that so this wall we can say is not going to be there but we will essentially have that going around um or do we want that wall no we probably want that because it means that then this can still be staff only the problem with that is it's a big waste of space I've been called that before. Uh, pathway going down like so. Pathway going down like so. Uh, we'll have a walkway across there. This then, it's, yeah, it's not really necessary, is it? The only problem is we definitely want it staff only so that uh, the when the workers are coming along, they can get into that easy. Easier, I guess. But the problem with that is then we've got all of this section here. We could shrink it down. So it's just one. And that'll give us a bit more room. But do we really need the room? Not particularly. Hmm. If we don't do it, it'll, it'll end up this like weird relic and you'll notice it later on in the build. And you say, why is, why is, why is it like that? It's because we've expanded. Um, if we, for example, had that wall going along like that, that would be probably better. Like that. Obviously, you'd have your doors in there. Uh, you wouldn't have that anymore. Doors would go there and there. And then you'd start your wall from that section there, you see. This would still come along. That'd be better. And then we can have pathways along there. And it still keeps this staff-only type area in the original idea. Like that, you see. Yeah, like that. And we'll probably get rid of that doorway because it's just a straight shot through. These will be staff doors. Staff doors. It means that security in here is not that tight. But they have to get through several staff doors before they get out of a big jail door and out. So it's not it's not exactly a huge problem, is it? Um, okay, I'll unpause it while we crack on and plan this off. So pathways, removing all of that. So, for the cell blocks, like I say, we're going to cram in as many as we can get. Each one of them holds 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, for each side, I think we plan roughly set was going to be like a hundred or something for each one of these so we have we can have 10 of those in here um 
So are we going to do that? I'm probably going to use this one pointing up. That's probably the way forward. So let me just go for our um, objects once again. No, sir. Yeah, walls. So it is a 20 by 12. That's the size of it. So assuming we go here, uh, we have a 20 by 12. Is that right? Let me just double check. External. Yeah, OD is 20 by 12. So 20 by 12, we have a gap of 2. 20 by 12 go from this side 20 by 12 from the one 20 by 12 got a four down the middle couldn't care less um that could go in that would fit another option change it around 20 by 12 20 by 12 still a weird size and you still need to get the four in okay so i guess it's just a matter of going for that then 20 by 12 um, another option. Forget that. Start here. That allows us to get more in, surely. Hang on. Something's not right. No, it is right. It's just because these these entrances are not strictly aligned to the edge of the walls. They're just based on that building. Okay, that's fine. Um. And we've still got a fairly unusable piece. And also, that section can't be there. Because that section is going to have more buildings in it. 20 by 12 to there. We get five in. Get five. Double check the sizing. Just the length, really. That's fine. That is going to be assorted buildings. Um, including, but not limited to shop, library, mail room, extra laundry, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm going to go for parole for a start. A couple of parole rooms, in fact. And then, I guess a mail room. Yeah. What size is that? 12, and this one is 12. Yeah, that's fine. And then these can become whatever. In fact, we might even just... Do there you go, chapel. Not unreasonable to assume, I don't think. Not unreasonable to assume. By the way, I'm not going to have the same buildings here mirrored up the top. Uh, I'm not trying to put a mirror right through the centre. I know it feels that way, and trust me, I want to, because uh, that's the way <laughs> I like to build, build things symmetrical. But um, it wouldn't make any sense. It would just be building it like that for the sake of building it like that. So we're not going to do that. We are going to dismantle that, however, and continue on on max speed, because I do want to get this Inmate Nutritional Research Grant done because we currently don't have any money um, so it's important that we do that at least now we have them working here the disadvantage is because of how we've got our our thing set up if we go over to jobs no regime you notice that we have eat time in the morning where they don't work before that so they don't work before that um eat there so we might change it to after yard work free time four hours eat lock up work free time four hours eat it's a bit late to eat isn't it hmm I haven't yet decided that'll be more of a game time decision uh, what is interesting is that we are making some good money um, mainly because of the logs that we're selling it looks like we're earning loads of money. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's, uh, yeah. Oh, we've got cash flow. And exports. Yeah, like it exports 800 in there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to, that daily cash flow will be reduced. I'm just uh, keeping an eye on the edges here. Like, oh, I wonder why Dan Palmer was wandering over there. I wonder why. I wonder why. They're just checking, checking the building out. Oh, no, it's because they were getting their delivery of a mobile phone. <laughs> 
So if we see any orange jumpsuits go to the edge here, we know that it is likely to be someone getting stuff thrown over the wall. We did accept that that was going to be... That, we did accept that that was going to happen, that stuff was going to be thrown over the wall. Um, well, I think we'll do another shakedown. I don't think it would be inappropriate to do so. Remember, we do get money for uh, finding things, so we actually have an incentive there. So there's a needle, uh, there's three mobile phones, four mobile phones, a lighter, might even be another one. Six in total, and some stash cigs in here. Yeah, so we're getting all of this money here for that. Uh, and look at the consulting fee. I mean, that's a noticeable amount of money, isn't it, really? It is a no noticeable amount of money. So there we are. And apparently there's one place that can't be searched. Apparently we have searched it. Anyway, so um, I've not actually seen anyone go in visitation. Let me go to de deployment here. And I'll just uh, uh, assign someone in there. They'll just do their own thing. Um, we haven't set anyone to be deployed in the infirmary. I don't think we really need to. No one need to do the reception or the uh, yard. They just do that um, on their own. Apparently, we have one normal security. Fair enough. Uh, our daily cash flow is apparently 5,739. That is not the case. Um, Sean Chislett Trim. Uh, prison number 897861. No reputations to speak of. Have some unknown reputations, but... You know, nothing... Certainly that we know about that could be dangerous. So, we can get 50 prisoners extra down here, plus uh, all of the changes that we'll make. Obviously, we'll demolish this wall. We'll, we'll put this wall in first. Certainly put this other wall in first. Then do the expansion. Then put the other doors in. Then open this up and then put the walkways in. And then, yeah. Uh, we could, if we wanted to, open up one side of this. Like, say, have that there and so they can come in the back way. I'm not a fan of that. I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, this staff door... I am going to dismantle and I'm going to change that to a standard door because we are having the prisoners work in there. So, oh, I can't afford a door. Uh, and we're going to be on even less money because now we're going to go over to programs and is that still running? One passed, but still too interested. That's fine then. I was going to uh, cancel that off. But no. Anyway, uh, we yes, we will get less money now because we're going to serve high quantity high variety meals three of them and that's going to massively reduce this or massively increase the uh whoa whoa -ho -ho. sean ellison recently found him with contraband dead age 60 not of natural causes, as you may be aware of. Found attack prisoner. Found drugs, weapons, luxuries, weapons, etc. Said weapons twice. Maybe he likes weapons. Uh, snitch. Didn't know. Unknown trait. And is it Chislet Tim that attacked him? No. Who was it then? It was Chislet Tim. Yeah. Wow, okay. Uh, we're going to change him back to normal security. So he comes in and promptly murders someone. A bit suspicious, isn't it? Um, let's go to policy. If you uh, if you do any murderings, you are not going to get sent to. Uh, you're not going to get sent. To maximum security because we don't have a maximum security so that would be not the way forward right grants I really want to increase my bank loan but I can't because my credit ratings in the negative that's a problem but but we can not go for tool cleanup because you need at least 40 darn it okay doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we'll do that, we'll quickly get to till clean up, we'll quickly crack down on drugs, and then we'll be sorted. But no. Um, so we're just going to have to continue working on the inmate nutritional research. Uh, it does say assign two dog handlers uh, to a dog patrol, assign two armed guards to a patrol. We don't have either of those, but we do have people working. Um, 
Do you want to get rid of the doctors? No, it's probably worth us keeping those. Do we want to reassign some people? I don't think we do. How many workers do we have? We have eight workers in total. Basically, what we've got is what we've got. We don't really need much more. We could, I believe, get rid of the chief, if technically. I mean, we don't have body armor or anything unlocked, but we don't need them at the moment. We haven't got surveillance. No, I think anything we would, any person we get rid of, it would be uh, not of any benefit. Uh, that person is currently maximum security. We'll put him to normal. There we go, prisoner bird. Uh, to be fair, they can be in around here because we haven't set these up to any particular type of uh, of cell. Once we've got this up, um, we will focus on. Uh, we need some solitary, don't we? We definitely need solitary. I'm not going to expand any further down. I don't think that's not my intention. Um, so we need a solitary area, we need all sorts of areas. I was thinking of maybe doing that and having that as a dormitory. And having two dormitories either side, like that. And then have something in the centre. But quite frankly, I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. Um, perhaps that, and then we'll have this in the centre. So we'd have a workshop, because we currently don't have one. So maybe this is a workshop. We'd have a... Well, we need an area for solitary. Don't know if that would be the right size. Uh, not particularly. No, we need to be one larger, wouldn't it? Hmm. Overdose. See, I need an area for protective custody, don't I? It doesn't have to be stupidly large, though. We need protective custody. We need a security room to talk to people. And need solitary. Right. Let's assume this is workshop. We'll put that as a workshop. Um... This is going to be protective custody, like so. That's actually fine. Then this will be canteen, say canteen or something, um, common room. No, yeah, canteen, common room will be fine for that amount of prisoners. From here, uh, that will then lead on to do I really want to put solitary right next to it really is that a good idea it's really not is it it's really a terrible idea in every single sense could just have a standard door like that I means but they can just walk in if they really want to attack them they could walk in but we'll have an armed guard around there ideally you'd want a security room wouldn't you um Maybe do that. Have a security room there. No, 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 no. It's not necessary. That's fine. That's fine. We might put something here. I might expand it further. But we need an area for solitary, which we currently don't have. I could always do that. I mean, you have to go around it, but... No, it still has the same problem. Okay. Haven't yet decided. Oh, I don't know what that is. Bankrupt. Financial ruin. Find a way to fix it. 24 hours to avert bankruptcy. Okay. So, technically, inmate nutritional research will be finished. We can then do... Well, that'll give us 15 grand. Yeah. We should be fine. We'll see you next episode. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. Oh, and uh, lend us some generic units of currency. Just drop them in the comments.